Welcome back to this beautiful disaster we like to call Patch Tuesday. And this one's a pretty special one because it's also 311 Day. So this one's for all those 80s and 90s kids who grew up listening to questionable music like myself. So feel free while you're deploying patches today to kind of rock out today. You know, you earned it. It's a special day. All right, let's get down with these patch notes and figure out how we what we got to do to change the status lights from amber to green. All right, total exploits patch. We got 56, critical patches six, already known or exploited six honestly kind of a boring month now normally like as the, the it guy side of me is like sweet boring month of patch tuesday awesome the writer side of me and the guy that's got to shoot these videos i'm like i like to spice it up a little bit i'll do the best i can with the 311 references Whoa. all right let's start off with cve 2025 26645 now this is going to be our highest rated cve for the month coming in at an underwhelming 8.8 .8. Now this is uh, an exploit impacting uh, remote desktop clients. Now if a vulnerable remote desktop client remotes into a compromised remote desktop server, that attacker could then potentially execute remote code on the uh, vulnerable client. So if you've got you know, a couple things here to check. One, make sure that your uh, users that use remote desktop aren't just remoting into a bunch of random remote desktop servers. Two, make sure your remote desktop servers are not compromised. And three, if you don't want to worry about any of it, just go ahead and deploy the patch. All right, next up, we got CVE 2025-24064. And if DNS doesn't already get enough abuse from IT community, well, now it's got a new shiny vulnerability impact in it. So this one comes in at an 8.1. Now this one would allow an attacker to remote, remotely execute code by by sending a malicious, uh, perfectly timed DNS message to a DNS server. Now this one does require to win a race condition, and so it's not easy to exploit, but pretty much all of us use DNS every single day. So this is definitely one you gotta get patched because you know you're using it. And last up, so normally I do three highlights, but again, kind of being a slower month for patches, uh, instead, what I'm going to do, since I couldn't find another exciting one to really like highlight, I wanted to highlight that there are nine vulnerabilities impacting Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, Excel, Access. So if you are a Microsoft Office organization, that's the tools you are using, you've definitely got some patching to do. Now, pretty much all of these exploits require a user to download a malicious file, run it. Some of the exploits can take advantage of the preview pane as an attack vector, others can't. So if you use Office, time to do some patching. If you use Google Workspace, Time to do some gloating. All right, that's gonna do it for us. Unfortunately, we didn't get 311 patches to deploy today. If that would have happened, there would have been some wild conspiracy theories that I would have got all mixed up in and I would have just loved it. But there's always next time, which I think will happen March 11th, 2031. You can double check me on that. But, you know, hopefully, you know, we can keep our fingers crossed. Till then, make sure you like and subscribe for more PDQ content. Let us know down in the comments down below how many 311 references you caught. As always, head over to our Discord server, discord.gg slash PDQ, to keep the conversation going and to hang out with like-minded IT individuals. For PDQ, I'm Brock. Brock on, everybody.